We are here at the Robocup Junior Lightweight Soccer event and in which you are competing. So, which team are you? Who are you? Uh, we are Team Zenith from Australia. Why did you decide to come here to participate at the Robocup? Well, um, back in Australia, there is um, a pretty big Robocup competition. And uh, we've always seen people with these lightweight robots and they're really, really fast and really cool. So we wanted to give it a go. And so we managed to come all the way here. It's really good. Did you have to do a prelim preliminary rounds in Australia, local rounds? How did that go? Yeah, it went well. So we have regional, state and national competitions with the nationals being qualifiers for internationals. So we did really well there. Yeah. So we won um, states and nationals, so we qualified. There's also a team from Brisbane, that's the city in Australia, that also came here. They came second in nationals. So yeah, there's two of us. Um, so you have two robots. Um, I see there's a red one and a black one. Is there a difference between your, your different robots? Not really. They are made of a slightly different material. Uh, the red one is 3D printed with PLA, so polylactic acid, plastic, and then this one is um, CNC routed using polycarbonate. So slightly different materials, but otherwise very similar. Um, so in this competition, of course, the robots need to play soccer. Um, but I noticed that the ball is very special. Can you tell me a bit more about that and how, how does the robot interact with it? Yeah, so the ball emits IR light from a bunch of um, LEDs around it. And so these sensors here are able to pick up the IR light and detect exactly where the ball is, so it can go for it. There's a separate division that uses a bright orange ball and they use cameras to track it. But this one's a little bit easier. So why did you decide to, to go for this competition and not for the, the other competition? with uh... Uh, To be honest, it's just a lot easier to get into it. Um, so for, this is our first time competing, so for your first time, it's good to start with the easy things. You're doing pretty well for a first time if you're making it into, into this international competition. I like to think so. So, you, I assume you learned a lot while making these robots. Can you give me some, some ideas of what, what was the coolest thing that you learned or the most important thing? Um, I think the coolest thing is getting the algorithms to work. So obviously you can make the physical robot, but when you get the algorithms right, it comes really close to the ball and it's really good at scoring goals. And that's really, really satisfying, I find. I think learning more about the electronics, what makes the robots run, um, I really enjoyed that. I think that was a lot of fun to sort of build the robots, yeah. So you're talking about algorithms. Um, I assume you need some tactics to score goals and to actually win the match. What is the tactic that you implemented in your robots? So we have an attacker and a defender. Um, they can swap between each other. So if the defender gets the ball, he'll run out and become an attacker and the other one will go back and defend. And so the defender sits in front of the goal and tries to stop any attackers and the attacker goes out and tries to score goals. And they try and work together a bit. Yeah. I think, yeah, working together and switching when the other has the ball has been really, really helpful. Because a lot of teams will have either two attackers or sometimes there'll be two defenders and it gets really, really crowded. So by making them switch, it sort of declutters the field a little bit. They get a better chance of not fighting each other, more so fighting the opposition. Um, so I learned already that tomorrow we will have also the super team division where you will have to actually collaborate with your competitors. Um, how are you looking forward to that? Yeah, I'm really keen. It's always good to sort of work with other teams, get to see new tactics, new styles, new builds. It's always really fun to work with others with that, yeah. I, um, I think especially having a massive field with so many robots is going to be really chaotic but really funny. I think it'll be nice. We'll be sitting together with these teams, talking to them, seeing if we have a strategy together. Yeah, once we finish most of the individual rounds, that's when we'll sort of start talking to the other teams and planning out a strategy. Yeah. That, that is something that I'm personally really looking forward to as well. So thank you and good luck. Thank you very much.